What's up my friends? I hope that all of you are keeping well and thank you ever so much for tuning in. But hello if you are new also. So I'm really sorry that I didn't upload on Friday but I was at another wedding, believe it or not, um, for my really, really good friend Joe. It was an absolutely amazing day but I also, you know, didn't want to kind of shortchange this review just because of trying to get something out on time. One of my biggest surprises I think in the world of like underground death metal has to be from Profound Law, which is Mortiferum. The previous album, Disgorge from Psychotic Depths, kind of caught my attention when I was in this real old school death metal, you know, underground hole, and I was really discovering a whole load of different bands that I'd never even heard of. Now, two years later, after the release of that previous album, we come to Preserved in Torment. The band have been going since 2016, so they're fairly young as a band. And three out of the four members are also in a band called Caustic Wound, which is some pretty intense death metal, just like straight up though. And I also found out that Preserved in Torment was recorded in just 12 days um, and also features Andrew Oswald as the producer who previously produces Disgorged from Psychotic Depths. Which I think is important to note because one of the things I do really enjoy about Mortiferum and it's kind of, um, it's a bit different for me because I, I'm not usually a fan of like the lo-fi aspect, but um, with these guys, I really enjoy the fact that the production style sounds like you're in this sort of like death metal cavern. I also found out again um, that Chase Slaker, the band's guitarist, actually makes these artworks. Um, to me, that's actually what caught my eye with the first Mortiferum record that I heard. Um, and really, it kind of reminds me of Bekshinsky um, and also more contemporary Mariusz uh, Lewandowski. <clears throat> and where the songs are concerned, Preserved in Torment still sounds, you know, pretty rough and ready. But I feel like um, whereas Disgorged was kind of a little less immediate, this album really kind of hits you pretty much straight away. I feel like the band are a lot more straight to the point this outing, which I think, you know, it, it can be important, especially in Death Doom, because sometimes you can kind of drag it on a bit. Judders from the faster paced moments uh, for the opener, which is Eternal Procession, to this kind of more lugubrious sound, which is Seraphic Extinction. But this is one of the things that I did enjoy about Mortiferum is that it's the way that these kind of riffs almost like pile on top of you and just get kind of heavier and heavier and heavier pushing you down. However, of course, there are moments when the death metal is fully mobilized and we get into that sort of bolt thrower style steamroller sound as seen on Cordex of Flesh. But for me, it's the interaction between these various different layers. You know, like I feel almost like the ride symbol um, deserves its own mention because there's so much of that ding, 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 ding. It's like a fucking dinner bell. <laughs> Though that being said, there are some really great um, solo moments on this album, especially on the end of Exhumed from Mortal Spheres, which I think is the band kind of, um, I don't know, it, it, it almost moved into progressive territory. Obviously, it's never going to be because this is just a straight up Death Doom record. But it was um, a good example of where things might go in the future, for example. So, Mortiferum have created a more than worthy successor to Disgorge from Psychotic Depths. So with that in mind, if you're a fan of death metal, death doom, chances are you'll really, really love this Mortiferum record. And I really don't think there's anything quite like it that's been released this year, particularly in the world of the underground. So thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, it'd be great if you could hit that like and subscribe button. Also make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss content like I've got a chemist interview coming up. I'll also be reviewing Obscura, Chemist's new album, 
and also converges Blood Moon. So lots of really cool, exciting stuff, and I'm trying to get some more interviews uh, arranged in the pipeline. Thank you so much for watching. If you did want to donate to my coffee fund, you can do so underneath me. There's a little link. I really appreciate you guys checking out these videos, but anything, of course, always helps. So other than that, I will see you very, very soon for way more album reviews. <laughs>